Hi, welcome to How to Repair. This video is on a Samsung washing machine with either a HE error code failure or a TE error code failure. The machine is flashing up a TE at the moment. It doesn't quite look like a T, but that actually is a T. And we have got a heating fault on the machine. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to actually get at the heating element and the NTC sensor. You may also have a fault with the actual circuit board, but the first thing to check is check the wiring, the heating element and the NTC sensor. Before starting any work, make sure you unplug the machine from the electricity supply. And now we're going to remove the lid. And because the machine has timed out on one of these two failures, we are going to need to take the kick strip off and drain the machine down because the machine would already be full of water and your clothes most probably stuck in the machine. So we're just actually using the drain pipe, let the machine drain down and then you can start work on the machine. Right, there's two screws inside the soap drawer here. These two screws are stainless steel so make sure they go back into the correct holes. The idea of them being stainless steel is to stop corrosion one small screw on this model of machine on the side panel and then we'll be able to unclip the panel, lift it up slightly which will then give us access in a minute to undo the three screws above but first I'm going to remove the door lock and peel off the seal the door seal has got a little retaining band which you need to take off and then the seal will peel off the front facial panel while I'm actually uh, removing this front panel, do remember, if you do need any parts for your machine, we will need the full model number uh, off the machine, and sometimes we will need the serial number. This will either be found around the door area or on the rear of the machine. Do not just assume that the number written on the facial panel is the correct model number. Do get the number off the identification label. Right, that's the three screws at the top done. We'll just replace the bung on the drain-off hose. Now, there's four screws along the bottom here, but they does differ from model to model. I can't make a video on every machine. Then just lift the panel up off the clip, and it comes away. Now, this exposes the front half of the drum. We normally have two wires on the element itself and then an NTC sensor that fits into the element and there should also be an earth wire. Now the earth wire sometimes has got a tab on it that you need to press down to remove it. You can actually test uh, elements in situation but you will not be able to test the NTC sensor. Right, using a 10mm socket or spanner you need to undo the nut all the way to the very end of the threads, but do not remove it. Then give it a tap towards the inside of the machine. This will allow the pressure to come off the seal and will allow you to remove the element. On the website we have other videos showing you in more detail how to test elements and also how to test NTC sensors. But I'll take you through the basics now. Turning your meter to continuity, you will be able to do a test across the two terminals on the element to make sure that you have a field. As you can see, we have a reading. So the element in theory here is good. Now, with the NTC sensor, turn your meter to ohms, go across the two terminals, and just a quick check by putting your finger on the actual part of the NTC sensor that goes into the machine after a few seconds your body temperature will heat up the NTC sensor and you will see the reading start to drop this means that the functionality of the NTC sensor is working correctly but we do not know if it is working within its parameters now the element itself slides back in underneath a retention bar. You can see the bar running across the machine there and the element slides underneath this. Now a good technique is to put a little bit of fairy liquid 
once you've replaced the part that you need to on your machine on the seal before inserting it make sure you line it up with the retention bar wiggle it in now sometimes with your fingers you're not able to push the element all the way in so line it up so it's correctly in the hole and then using a blunt screwdriver and a lightweight hammer do not hit it hard just give it a tap next to the bolt not on the bolt just next to it and it should just slide in and there we go now all you need to do is do the 10 mil nut up and replace the wiring the actual fault with this machine by the way was it was actually overheating and the NTC sensor was giving a false reading to the circuit board so I've replaced the NTC sensor the element was good as I said and now we'll put the whole machine back together now as I said earlier if you do need any parts for your machine you will either find them on the website using your full model number or you will need to contact us and we will find the part for you and get it listed if it's not listed on the website already but we will need the full model number off the identification plate and it's a good idea to send us the serial number as well you can always use the contact form on the website once you've got the panel back on uh, make sure it's lined up on the clips and then replace the screws as I said three on the top four on the bottom on this model of the machine but they will vary from model to model and make sure you replace the screws with the same ones that came out now at the website we have lots of videos on Samson faults and we're able to supply all the parts for your machine just noting here to get the facial panel on it needs to clip in to the lower panel there's a couple of lugs on it and as I said quite important make sure you put the two stainless steel screws back into the soap drawer area as this is a high water area and the idea of stainless steel is so they do not corrode if you do put ones uh, in wrongly uh, after about six or twelve months you'll find that when you need to get at the machine again uh, they've actually corroded and you can't undo them just replacing the door lock here now the door seal itself just goes over the lip work it all the way round and make sure that the seal is nice and square and when putting the band on make sure the spring is basically at seven o'clock on the bottom of the machine you will need to stretch the band over and it's a good idea to use a small screwdriver make sure not to damage the lip of the seal itself and that goes on and there you go thanks very much indeed for watching this video I hope you found it helpful and if you did you can always donate to the website by buying us a beer thanks very much indeed for watching this video